Take a look at these movies for a moment. How long do you need to tell if they are run forwards or backwards in time? You will probably take longer in this movie than in this other one, but you will eventually figure out the direction of the arrow of time for all of them. And that's because all these movies show irreversible processes, meaning that they are much more likely to occur in a particular sequence than in reverse. But some are processes more irreversible than others. For example, the motion of this pendulum is much less irreversible than this mixing process. Figuring out the direction of time for the pendulum takes longer than for the mixture. But how can we determine the arrow of time and why in some cases it's easier than others? The underlying laws of physics that rule the motion of individual particles are time reversible, which means that they work both if the time is flowing forwards or backwards. But there's a statistical law that cares about time, the second law of thermodynamics, which states that entropy increases over time in isolated systems. This means that systems tend to lose structure or dissipate energy to the surroundings. Watch this other video to know more about the second law. So, macroscopic processes, ruled by thermodynamics, happen in a preferred direction, towards higher entropy states. This preferred direction is what we call the future. So, to guess if a movie runs forwards or backwards, you need to watch the movie until you are sure whether the entropy of the system is increasing or decreasing, respectively. The faster the entropy increases, the shorter it takes to guess the arrow of time. Physicists use the concept of entropy production rate to express how fast the entropy is produced in a process. The mixing system quickly evolves towards a mix and structureless state, whereas this pendulum takes quite a while to slow down because it experiences little friction. So these examples reveal a direct relation between the entropy production rate and irreversibility. The higher the rate, the more irreversible a process is. But in nature, we see examples of irreversible processes that seem to contradict this relation. For example, a chicken becomes more complex and ordered as it develops. How does the chicken overcome the tendency to decay? The answer to this question is fundamental to understanding how complexity emerges in nature. Watch other science sketches to learn more. <laughs>